My name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Inscription, where it's time to try out the Zero Cost Dick. Um, I mean, I might actually need squirrels not to have the Waterborne Sigil if I want them to be able to help me defend in this challenge. I don't know. Maybe I'm fine with that. I feel like single candle is probably going to kill me this time, so maybe... Oh, but I do have to meet a hundred as well. Oh, God. I've exceeded. I see. I can turn ten of this back off. I could go all totem battles instead of sig uh, single candle. That's actually probably better. Right? Only one way to find out. The rabbit, the tadpole, and the geck. Just wild. What are we gonna do here? Uh, magpie moose buck? Wouldn't be entirely dissuaded from moving in either direction. Uh, getting a getting a serpent sigil looks like it'd be pretty good for us. Oh, it's a rabbit in the base deck, not a squirrel. Okay, it wouldn't have even had waterborne. Anyway, move forward. We actually need to see the card options we have here. I'm expecting some wait no let's see what I can offer you for those pails. Hair pails. Interesting. So we don't find anything super expensive here, unfortunately. Damn's good as like a a blocker, I guess. I think Tadpole, like, it's got to be able to evolve into its own form of quite good damage. Giving it prong? Might be okay. The Get could easily hold push one damage either side and everyone would be pretty happy about that. If I got Fecundity afterwards. I'm not seeing Field Mice in here. Like, I'm not, I'm not seeing Fecundity super often and easily again. I'm going to go with my gut instinct on that one. I haven't played this deck before, so I don't know exactly how I'm going to... You know, what what uh, challenges I'm consistently going to find myself encountering. I'm just going to play by the seat of my pants for a little bit of here. We do have a blood cost choice in the future, which seems like... Oh, pretty good. Okay, birds move to block any of my summons. Can get the tadpole immediately. Oh, Aqua Squirrel! Uh... There we go. Push one damage here. Tadpole gets to evolve. Oh, no! It doesn't become something good. It just becomes a one blood serpent. Well, it's uh it's double strike suddenly became significantly less useful than I thought. I thought it was going to be like a Mothman kind of situation. Oh well. I guess Mothman is a rare card and it's a normal. Uh, I guess I Push three damage. I don't really have too much control right now. They push two. I'll push two in response. And so it will continue. Until I start pushing three every turn. I don't think they're going to summon anything more, though. And I can't get bones. So this is where we sit. Come on, Leshy. Uh-oh. I was about to say, offer us the scoop, but... Uh, we need to be confirmed to guarantee win if we're going to get the scoop. Uh-oh. That Raven Egg means they'll be pushing four damage a turn after this, which I can't compete against. 
Uh, so the only thing that I can do now is push four damage this turn, which means I have to use my pliers. So warning for the pliers. Three, two, one. Take that tooth. And lethal. Boy. We need damage. A two blood or a three blood? I mean, look. Let's go for the three blood. It is time to grizzle. Serpent head, please. Or fecundity bottom. Double strike bottom. Tell you what, gift horse mouth look, TC. Don't. It's a phrase as old as time itself. Don't tell me you haven't been told that every day. Boy, howdy. Ah. Uh... <laughs> I don't think I have the damage to... Wait, no, I do have the damage to win this fight. Do I push one damage this turn? I have to push one damage this turn, I think. Let's do it on the free line. Where we can push another damage next time. Yeah, yeah, that's how we have damage. Good. Get grizzled. Oh, wait, no, the tadpole does level up. Yeah, I could have used a tadpole last time. Really good. I didn't want to see if it was going to become specifically the bullfrog again or any serpent again. Uh, I think it would be kind of cool if it was any serpent. No, I'm a little biased. I do like seeing a couple more blood costs again, but I don't know. Card removal's pretty good. There's another blood cost even further up there as well. Safeguard's fine. I guess it keeps the Gek on board for a turn as like a free block. It's just not incredible. Black goat's pretty incredible. I could put that in the rabbit. I have nothing else to say about it. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Black goat, go in rabbit. No blood becomes three blood. Oh, there's another sacrifice space in the future. Uh, enhancing the damage of the grizzly, giving it double strike or giving it the ability to, to you know, bifurcate its strike. Both would be pretty good pickups for us. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, specifically bullfrog again, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, this'll do. I'll put the Gek here just to make sure that the pronged attack can never only have one of its instances go off. Gonna have to block the movement of our own minion relatively consistently in order to achieve that end. But we were doing that in the last episode of The Ants as well. I wasn't really specifically mentioning it because it just seemed the right thing to do. Three blood. Oh, mycologists. Uh, extra health. The Grizzlies are already going to have way too much health. Uh, the Tadball being a little bit more survivable, not bad. Removing the alpha? Pretty good. Get out of here. The bones are yours. We don't have the ability to summon that alpha at all, ever. 
I don't, I also don't have a sigil to sacrifice into it anymore, though. Which I could have sacrificed the alpha, I guess, into something. <laughs> I make a lot of decisions, not all of them can be good. The trapper sat hunched beside one of his traps. He gingerly removed a mangled hair from the steel teeth, but left the trap unhinged. I'm afraid I must be skinning you today. Oh, I see. They are going to push. So I attack in this line. Strange Frog pushes. Wait. Strange Frog pushes. Bullfrog pushes. I get back in the same line with the Bullfrog. We good. Ah, yes. The rabbit itself would have been all three for the blood here. It's okay, though. Push two, swap, swap. And then I push two in this, uh, I push this line, killing that minion. Strange frog comes over here after attacking. I need that strange frog not to attack this turn, ideally. That'll do it. So that I still have a surviving grizzly to continue attacking the enemy. That strange frog's gonna move into my way as well. I'm gonna end up with no, oh. That's not gonna be damage, is it? That's a tadpole. Oh boy. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> well, I'm gonna be purchasing. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna have to purchase what I win with here. That's fine, we've got a lot of wolf belts. We'll be able to take the entire front line out of it. Uh, and I've got some time to get some squirrels. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, Rampager really spices things up. The stunning knife turns. Let's trade. Oh, he's accidentally give her a completely different voice for that second part. Uh, Mantis, I like that. Yeah, we just take the whole front line. Uh, I summon Lethal. Alright. For Quasquirrel, Mantis, and then I just need one more damage pusher. So, Riverota. Made our way through. That was our first boss, right? Your lives have been restored. I think it was, yeah. Magpie. If I can put the magpie in the geck, it's like flying, so it does some damage. I guess that's okay. It doesn't really contest enemies anymore. Uh, but it does have Hoarder, so it immediately finds a card in the deck, allowing me to find the cards that I want to summon with it. It effectively increases the size of my opening hand consistently, which is uh, pretty good for us. Ah, oh, another removal even further up. Pine needles crunched beneath your feet. You drew in a breath of fresh scented air. You were embraced by the woodlands. I could fail so many challenges here. Blood cost? Not blood cost, actually, because of the grizzlies. Uh, but bone cost? As long as we don't draw specifically the tadpole, uh, the tadpole and the gek, we could complete that. Uh, we can't draw either the grizzlies, uh, so we can't complete that one. Uh, we would have to draw very specifically the grizzly. No, 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 if we draw the two grizzlies or the grizzly and the magpie, any of those will... Okay, yeah, it's, it's kin is the easiest one for us to fail here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We already have the right tools in here, so the consistency of the deck is incredible. 
pretty important to us. No, none of these... None of these affect me, and they're probably never going to. Double strike, double... I mean, they, they'd be good summons then. Oof. I kind of want to take another body, because then I'm guaranteed to be offered more heads in the future. I think. I think that's how it works, but I haven't been disproven yet more chance of finding the uh, serpent totem than I'll actually do anything with. Uh, I'm going to close for lethal on this turn, actually. Summon both of those for the magpie. The magpie summons the rabbit. The rabbit summons the grizzly. We push five damage. That's not enough to kill right now, but they only respond with two damage, and then it's lethal. Nice. Oh. Uh, straight up removal on that left-hand side is pretty appealing. Probably for whatever card I get from here. that make it appealing? Well, I mean, it's more appealing than taking a, a mouse into the deck. A douse into the deck, sorry. Not, not douse. Oh, what is it? Pack rat. I always forget its name. <laughs> the wimpish tadpole. Its future as a bullfrog is a meager compensation. Direwolf to give the bonus to the grizzly. Who do I remove then? Uh, it's feeling like the tadpole. I'm sorry, I tried. You suck. I, I did all my best. I set you up to succeed as best I can. Uh, okay, we are gonna need to spend an item here. Spend an item, 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 spend an item. I'm just gonna make sure that I do it. Otherwise, I'm going to forget. I'm going to say to the side of the fight that I need to do it, and then I'm not going to have done it by the end of the fight, and I'm going to be sad about it. So spend a night, spend a night, spend a night. Uh, I'm going to immediately do it. Push five. There we go. Probably should have used the other item, to be honest, because that one's less useful for me, whereas the squirrel and bottle's actually pretty damn good for me. Oh well. Oops. And that's all they wrote. I just had a panic second of like, did I actually use the item? So glad I used the right... It wasn't the right item, but I wouldn't have used the bones. I would have just messed up again. Blood value, I'm going to fail 100% of the time here. Uh, we actually can't succeed kin. Nice. <laughs> grizzlies are not kin with one another. Uh, we can join the two grizzlies up here. Huge pickup. Clear the enemy cards, I think. I don't want to go to another pack, and I do want to go to another totem, so this is definitely our left-hand side. Skink tails. Those are good. It's the worst possible opening hand. I must draw from this deck, otherwise I guaranteed lose. Uh, their minimum push damage is two next turn. My Aqua Squirrel can't block. I have to wipe their cards. 
and then play the Gek in the free line. And then block the three coming in from the wolf next turn. And then I need to draw... I can't, can I even draw the win? No, I think I'm dead. I, but I have multiple candles, don't I? Okay, I got the rabbit. So I could summon a grizzly, I could summon a dire wolf. The problem here is going to be how do I... Like, I can kill this wolf because it won't be able to drop its tail and move away and then push two damage, right? And then the enemy pushes two damage here and then they actually push four damage, right? And I guaranteed lose. Uh, yeah. The grizzly is not going to prevent that from happening. Even if I play in the free line, push four damage, they just respond with more. This is why the grizzlies need to be larger or have double strike or something like that because otherwise, if I'm so far behind, by the time I play them, they don't even save me. So glad I have more than one candle right now. Woo! <laughs> Pit here. We get to finish that totem as well. In the near future. Uh, Elfhorn, that skunk. All reasonably unappealing. Take a full reroll here instead. Wolverine. The Wolverine injecting its damage into the Dire Wolf would be pretty good. Or even the inverse of that. Uh, I don't know. Bones are pretty difficult for me to pay as a cost still. I think I will take the Wolverine though. I say after I take the Wolverine. One for each of us. There we go. <laughs> this procedure. Is it Grizzly? Look away! I mean, it used to be twice as Grizzly. Uh, you've halved as much Grizzly uh, as the procedure has usually been. Appreciate it. Or by this stage in the procedure. They did it to me again. Uh, the Die Wolf already has Double Strike, so giving it Double Strike isn't going to give it Double Strike, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it can have Double Double Strike. Uh, and it wants to give that Double Strike to the Grizzly as well, to be very clear. I think... For that reason, we're actually going to take again another bottom of a totem and look for more heads. Totems have really been screwing with me recently. I think this is because I had a string of every single time I would go to a totem space, I would find the head for the main clan in my deck. Uh, so it's only fair that I receive the other side of variants as well. Uh, so I can push my eight right now, but then obviously my grizzly dies to the enemy and I lose the game, which is not appealing. Uh, their coyote is going to be underwater, though. So I need to be a little slow. I can't be too slow, though. Uh, this is actually a problem. I can't contest their board directly. Which means all I can really do is go past it. Is Grizzly going to have to be part of my opener here? My response to the pack mule and then push for closer to lethal? They're going to have two damage up on me next turn and then they're probably going to summon another coyote in this line, which means they're pushing four damage the turn after. So if I push the Grizzly in the pack mule line at that point, I would just lose to the incoming damage. I guess unless I got the magpie to block it. But again, that's so many materials. I think that's the play, though. Oh, not a second coyote in the same... Okay. I'm surprised. They 
is extremely not the card I wanted to draw there. But it is the card we drew. So we'll have to use it. I'm gonna take the bones just enough in order to actually summon the Wolverine. Do I do this? So it's Aqua Gek. Those summon either the magpie and then the magpie digs for the black goat in the rabbit and then the black goat rabbit sacrifices for the grizzly and I end up with a magpie and a grizzly on board. Uh, magpie pushes one damage, blocks the incoming damage from this coyote. Uh, pack mule kills the... Uh, or grizzly kills the pack mule. And then next turn, my grizzly in the corner kills the enemy. I have two spaces in the middle of the field still open. And in hand, at that point, I'm just holding Wolverine and whatever I get out of the pack mule. Alternatively, is there an alternative? Because if I just summon the Wolverine, the Aqua, and the Gek, and then get the Grizzly to push through the, the enemy, I just die. So no, there's not an alternative here. Unless I want to block this line with the uh, with the Wolverine, but I actually want the Wolverine to die, so I have open space for later. Okay. Good material. Great material pick up there, actually. Um. I mean, I do need the Dire Wolf. It's going to be a, a, a pretty important amount of our damage. Uh, one, two, three, five. So after I sacrifice two things... Do I even want the cat out? It cost me a sacrifice to get the cat out, and it's going to save me two blood total. It's distance to the bell. Relatively minimal at that time. Let me just take this card. We let that resolve. The enemy clears our board. But they lock for a turn, don't they, as well? Yep. I get another draw. So I'm not able to summon the Dire Wolf right now because I just don't have the ability to get three blood out of my board state. However, I can summon five damage in Aqua Squirrel. Aqua Squirrel summons the uh, Bell, which should have three damage. And then the Rattler by itself from the Bones. So Aqua Squirrel, sack both of the Bell, closest to the Bell. It's going to be four damage in this space, three, two, and then one. Uh, and then the Rattler, which six. Second boss damage. I feel like I'm getting too in the weeds with trying to figure out like orders of operation and then making sure that I've got the order of operation correct and then doing it again. Uh, but at the same rate, the thing that keeps killing me is not having done that correctly. Um, so so I appreciate uh, bearing with me for just a moment. Uh, oh boy. A possum some material, I guess. But Mantis is split damage. Damned good. Get a little bit of that in the deck. I mean, we're going to want another big payoff minion. We've got, you know, especially after we drop the, uh, the dire wolf from the deck. A hideous swarm of insects gathered around you. Reptiles, feet, and wetland. Ah. Flying and submerged. For, for Grizzly would keep it safe and it would always be able to push its eight damage and unless the enemy, I guess, is blocking it. Um, but I do want it to be able to do more damage. 
There's a world where I take a ringworm and attempt to remove it later. I don't think it's ever the deep beneath card. I think I'm going to take the reroll. Love to have seen another grizzly though. None of this appeals to me. I'm going to take a slow play in the bullfrog and I probably intend to remove it ASAP. I haven't had the ability to sack many of my creatures into many of my other creatures yet, unfortunately. Been a disappointing turn. Because we've got so many sigils that would be way better held by other characters. <gasps> Just imagine that. It's two less blood in order to do it. I think I removed the Wolverine at this point. We're clearly gonna want the Dire Wolf or the Mantis in the in the Grizzly. I mean, Mantis in the Grizzly and then Wolverine in the Dire Wolf wouldn't be awful, but we'll probably find something better for the Dire Wolf before then. Straight up remove a Bullfrog from the deck. One instantaneous bone. We can go for possible removal as well as possible buffing of the card. I don't really care about the amount of blood that I have, so this is this is fine, I think. The warm light of the campfire was a hungry sight, blah. Buffer. Dang. I would have actually preferred that removed, but look, it'll it'll hold space for a, a while, I guess. Uh, I do have another battle before I have another pack, but I also don't have any items, so no real need to worry about that too much. Uh, they're going to push four damage this turn, which is actually lethal to me. Uh, and my squirrel doesn't block, so unless I use the mantis this turn, I'm dead. Oh, it's a wild and wacky world. But it's fine, because I have a plan for lethal as well. Okay, you can push that. Now, I draw a squirrel, and the squirrel sacks for the magpie. Magpie gives it the rabbit. Rabbit immediately summons the grizzly. The fact that I can summon that without even killing the magpie is incredible. Get him. And I keep my two candles. We're gonna need that later, I think. Uh, very glad not to be going on the on the hunter's path there. Trial of health, kin, blood. We have one. Uh, we have two insects. Sorry, two insects, two serpents, but that's it. Only drawing specifically those two will fail the challenge. We can't do health, we can't do blood, so. And again, fail, succeed. There we go. <sighs> Great, uh, we, we, need, we need to dense this deck down extremely. Uh, yeah, magpie go in deck. And then mantis probably in the in the bear. Again, no pack before the next fight. Even if I don't have any items, I just gotta make sure that I have best practices in mind. <laughs> so annoying. Uh, that mantis is actually gonna be able to kill my mantis if I play it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna play my mantis next time. I just need a second minion on board as well. Because then worst case scenario, I can just upgrade it to a Dire Wolf later on with another draw. Oh boy. And we need some draws from the deck. deck. I see. Ah, I see. <laughs> Let's go straight to lethal. 
No one blocks that attack. Exploit the weakness. Press the advantage. Make sure the hunter's mark first. Uh, yep. Still looking for that removal. I say removal. We're still looking to join the minions together, actually. None of this is incredible for us. Again? Neither. I'll take the one that can be gotten rid of to a mycologist, I guess. No one's happy about what just happened. Mantis Grizzles. I'm keeping the Mantis in the Grizzly and keeping the Dire Wolf because I don't know if I'm going to find another big card, so I might need the Dire Wolf to be my second execution card. Skink Tails. They're pushing five damage. What the hell? Uh, I can block the B. <laughs> the, the worker ants are the problem. Uh, <sighs> this Wolverine is such a bad draw. I mean, I'm definitely playing the Gek, right? No sounds of buzz about that? Gek gotta go out. Do I want it to block some damage from a worker ant? Probably. But here comes the problem. I need the rabbit and I need the grizzly. <laughs> Otherwise, it's uh, bad news bears for me. I feel like I can get the die wolf to still perform a similar role for me. So I need to take the rabbit and then draw into the grizzly later. God damn it. Well, I can't summon the Wolverine. Um, they're pushing four damage, uh, six damage this turn. I can prevent three of it by sacrificing my rabbit for the bullfrog and then putting the bullfrog here. Actually, this bullfrog needs to be sacrificed. Otherwise, I summon the worker ant, which increases the damage of the entire board. So it has to be that. And then... God, I still can't use you. <sighs> One damage. Blocked. Blocked. One damage, three damage. Four damage total, we're dead. So unless I play the rabbit, I'm dead. But if I play the rabbit, I'm also dead. Thank heck I have two candles. Wait. No, I was still dead even if I didn't play the rabbit there. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad that I was going to be dead anyway. More than one candles. Yes, yes. Feel free to snuff one of them. This one avoids having to pick up a card. You know that's... You know that's good business. I would love to buff the damage of the Dire Wolf. That said, also having a bullfrog that actually has good damage in the deck might be bad. Much better holding position. No, this transfers its damage two times. Um, I'll take it and then just the one buff is enough. It's two damage that I just picked up there. Gift me help. I think it's time. Wolverine actually does go. Ooh, does it go into the 
Now what is it going to the the bullfrog? Because it's not. Well, I mean, the die will have an easier time activating it. I guess it's fine. It's fine. I don't have to have three perfect execution minions at the end. I just have to have some good ones. Perfection, the enemy of completion, I guess. What you first mistook for a misshapen boulder turned out to be an even more misshapen boulder. I'm a boulder. Did you bring fish? Mmm, those bait buckets look bad. But that dire wolf looks so inviting. Uh, yeah, that dire was gonna be incredible for us. Push four damage this turn, and then lethal next. Summons Great White. We kill the Great White. And Dire Wolf pushes 10 damage next turn by itself. Yeah, you can't steal that. You don't. Yeah, the chutzpah. We're all good. Fight's been over for a while. Uh, Wolfrog goes over here and blocks. I push no damage this turn, but the Dire Wolf now does seven damage for two strikes. Ah, oh, Gek on the bottom of the deck doesn't even draw a card. So rude. Okay, so maybe, maybe the double strike, maybe the Wolverine modifier was good. Sure. Uh, you will not perish quite yet. I have more plans for you. Find me another dial, please. Oh, not the pup. Uh... Is the pup bad? It's not bad. I still think I want Mantis to set up for another, like, third big minion I might end up putting in this deck. I want material in this deck as well, and I'm just not finding that. Like, we have good material, to be clear. That is what the deck starts with. It is a material-based deck. Material being defined by being able to generate more. Wait, this is the end? Oh, I didn't know we were in the end yet. Generate more minions on board. Uh. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Uh, I mean, look, the Mantis could go into a Bullfrog and we can just remove it from the deck or something like that. Um, we could also look to try and finish our Totem off. I do think we're at danger of just suddenly dying in the Leshy fight. Not having enough uh, minions to actually end up carrying us across the line. Please. Well, we got the serpent head. We still have serpents. We got a bullfrog, bullfrog, gek. Uh, I don't know if I want them to double strike. Maybe they want to smell? Debuff the enemies? No, they, they, they get way more value out of double striking. It's a little bit extra damage. It's probably more than I could have done with any of the other paths there, so... I don't feel too bad about it. The end is upon us. All right, bud. Yes, one more to be safe. lethal with the grizzly on the first turn. Love it. Like it, love it, and want more of it. We use the Gek to guarantee the draw into the Direwolf, maybe? No. Rabbit. 
and then sack these three. We put the Grizzly here, which pushes eight damage, killing that Mantis God in the back line as well. As well as the Mole Man, and then pushing enough damage to finish the first wave before the enemy picks up a Mask as well, which means they're not going to be able to pick up the Prospector Mask and then ruin me next turn. Yeah, no, no backline whatsoever to speak of. Bullfrog pickup is fine. Push 16. And that's closed. The, the moon can't do anything against Grizzly that big. The moon is waning. That's why I care so much about speed and the thinness of deck. But there are more ways to accomplish speed than just thinness of deck. And we're moving in that direction. I don't need to repeat myself forever. Only for sometimes. We found you, Direwolf. <laughs> Finally. And the Mantis and the Bullfrog actually push the same amount of damage. I mean, the Mantis in one of the side positions wouldn't have because it misses one of its attacks, but... That works out for us. Damn. That went really well. I feel like every mistake that I, I could have made, I, I managed to head off at the pass, identifying them correctly. Great. Entry 10. Data in beta state. For any quality concerns, please contact Kaminsky Data Storage, MFG. We've unlocked <laughs> Pelt Lice. Uh, it has no text on the card. It clearly has some sort of unique effect. Uh, it, it does have this border, which tells you it's a rare card as well. And rare cards have some unique effect to them, right? Whether they utilize their sigil in a unique way, whether they have a sigil combination that is only found on that rare card, uh, whether they interact with that sigil in a different way. I, I think that, that was the first thing I said. And whether they have a unique combination of symbols on their card. Uh, so the Pelt Lice has clearly got some secret behind it that I do not know of yet, but we'll find it out in the near future. For the moment, my name is Rhapsody. Name of the game has been Inscription, Casey's Mod, up in the top left. You can find my series playlist and all this content, past, present, and future, directly below as YouTube's recommendation, what it thinks you should what next, and streaming past the names of the people so generously supporting the Republic on Patreon.com slash Rhapsody plays at or above the $10 tier. And a special thanks this episode to Neko Hime. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.